everyone! For today's video, we're going to study subtracting of decimals. When subtracting decimals, you need to align the decimal points of the minuend and the subtrahend. And then, subtract as you would subtract whole numbers. Regroup when necessary. And lastly, align the decimal point of the difference with the decimal points of the minuend and the subtrahend. Let's have an example. For example, I have 336.9 minus 293.32 is equal to n. What do you think is the difference? So the first thing that we need to do is to align the decimal points of the minuend and the subtrahend just like this. And then, let's annex the zero so that we will have the same number of decimals. So we can now subtract them. 0 minus 2 cannot be. That's why we're going to borrow 1 from 9. 9 will become 8 while the 0 will become 10. And then 10 minus 2, that is 8. 8 minus 3 is 5. And then don't forget to copy the decimal point. Then let's proceed to the ones place. 6 minus 3, that is 3. 3 minus 9 cannot be since 3 is smaller than 9. So we're going to borrow 1 from 3 at the hundreds place. 3 will become 2, while the 3 at the tens place will become 13. 13 minus 9 is equal to 4. And then 2 minus 2, that is equal to 0. So the final answer, 43.58. Let's have another example. 289 minus 138.762 is equal to n. What do you think is the difference? Again, children, the first thing that we need to do is to align the decimal points just like this. As you can see, the subtrahend has decimals. That's why we need to annex zeros just like this. We can now subtract them. Since 0 minus 2 cannot be, we're going to borrow 1 from the first non-zero digit, which is digit 9 at the 1's place. 9 will become 8, then the middle zeros will become 9, and the first zero from the right will become 10. Let's subtract them. 10 minus 2, that is 8. 9 minus 6 is 3. 9 minus 7 is 2. And then, let's copy the decimal point. And then, 8 minus 8 is 0. 8 minus 3, that is 5. 2 minus 1 is equal to 1. So, the difference is 150.238. Let's have another example. How about if I have 56.75 minus 14.25 equals n? Again, the first thing that we need to do is to align the decimal points just like this. So we're going to start subtracting from the rightmost digit. 5 minus 5, that is 0. 7 minus 2 is 5. Then copy the decimal point. And then 6 minus 4, that is 2. 5 minus 1 is 4. So the answer is 42.50. Or we can just write 42.5. Is that clear? How about, How about if we have this? 903.8 minus n is equal to 645.09. As you can see, the missing number is the subtrahend. If the subtrahend is missing, all you need to do is subtract the difference from the minuend just like this. 903.8 minus 645.09. Then, let's annex the zero to have the same number of decimals. 0 minus 9 cannot be, that's why we're going to borrow 1 from 8. 8 will become 7, while 0 will become 10. 10 minus 9 is 1. 7 minus 0 is 7. Then copy the decimal point. 3 minus 5 cannot be, so we're going to borrow 1 from 0, but 0 is 0, so we're gonna borrow 1 from 9. 9 will become 8 while the 0 will become 10. You can now borrow 1 from 10. 10 will become 9. 
and then 3 will become 13. Let's subtract 13 minus 5, that is 8. 9 minus 4 is 5. 8 minus 6 is 2. So the subtrahend is 258.71. Again, children, if the subtrahend is missing, all you need to do is to subtract the difference from the minuend. Let's have another example. 0 0.45 minus 0 0.2765 equals N. Again, children, the first thing that you need to do is to align the decimal point. Then, let's annex the zeros. 0 minus 5 cannot be. That's why we're going to borrow 1 from 5. 5 will become 4. Well, the middle 0 will become 9. And then, the first 0 from the right will become 10. 10 minus 5, that is 5. 9 minus 6 is 3. 4 minus 7 cannot be, that's why we're going to borrow 1 from 4. 4 will become 3, and the 4 here will become 14. 14 minus 7, that is? Good job, it's 7. 3 minus 2, that is 1. Then copy the decimal point. 0 minus 0 is 0. So the difference is? 0 0.1735 10 thousandths. Is that clear? Let's have our last example. 2765 minus 34.093 equals N. So let's find the difference. Again, we need to align the number first. And then let's annex the zeros. So, we're going to borrow 1 from the first non-zero digit, which is digit, digit 5. 5 will become 4. And then the middle zeros will become 9. While the first zero will become 10. 10 minus 3, that is 7. 9 minus 9 is 0. 9 minus 0 is 9. And then copy the decimal point. 4 minus 4, that is 0. 6 minus 3, that is 3. Then bring down 7 and 2. So the difference is 2730.907. Always remember children, when subtracting decimals, the first thing that you need to do is to align the decimal points of the minuend and the subtrahend. Next, you need to annex the zeros if needed. Then subtract as you would subtract whole numbers. You're going to start subtracting from the rightmost digit. And then regroup when necessary. And lastly, align the decimal point of the difference with the decimal points of the minuend and the subtrahend. 